Okay, so Mario, uh, we just tried the katsu on your right arm. Can you tell us um, what what was the situation before you started doing the katsu on your right arm? Um, I had lost 50% of my grip strength on uh, as far as, uh, you know, just every time I gripped. Mm -hmm. I also was having a pretty severe arthritis and my fingers were starting to get constricted. Mm -hmm. So that was very, uh, limiting me quite a bit at work now. Um, you know, as a firefighter, we still have the old poles. So sliding mm -hmm. down the pole, I was no longer able to grip the pole. Mm -hmm. So I'd have to take the stairs or, or do something different to slide down the pole. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know how it's gonna be, but uh, I can definitely tell you that all of a sudden my fingers are straight and I don't have the pain in my joints anymore or the pain in my wrist that I had from a previous surgery. So okay. it's feeling I, I didn't I didn't think to start videoing the before, but could you show me what how how uh, how straight could you make your hand before and, and before doing the katsu today and how uh, hard of a grip can you make? So about how straight could you move your hand before? Oh uh, my hand was uh, constantly like this, about right there. Okay, and then and then how tell me show me what you've been able to do since the katsu's been on. I mean, I can strain on my, I mean, my middle finger alone, uh -huh. you could probably see how, how different it is from the other one, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, a lot of injuries here, a lot of injuries here, and, um, I mean, I can strain on my fingers uh -huh. where I wasn't able to do that yeah. before, mm -hmm. you know, my daughter will be the witness here, I mean, I was just talking to her about how yeah, bad my hand had been hurting, and how I was unable to, uh, Straighten out my fingers. So. Okay, and then the one other thing you were showing me is your mobility and your ability to grip. Uh, before you started doing the katsu, I didn't think to how, about how how hard could you grip. Um, you know, I don't know the exact uh, number as far as mm -hmm. my gripping mm -hmm. strength. Mm -hmm. I know that it was at fifty percent before, and I've mm -hmm. gone to hand therapists mm -hmm. and they've done wax treatments, heat mm -hmm. treatments, all this other mm -hmm. stuff. But doing this would cause a great deal of pain, even mm -hmm. rotating mm -hmm. because of my wrist. I have no pain whatsoever. I mean zero. Right now. No pain whatsoever on my on my on my joints. And you're saying if you would have tried to do that 20 minutes ago, there would have been. Oh, I would have been in excruciating pain. And then can you just really quick tell me what is uh, the problem with your hand? Like, what are the injuries that you were just showing me with your wrist um, and hand? Yeah. So I've had a uh, surgery on my wrist. You could probably still see the scar there. Um, uh, here before I had a metal, so I broke some bones here, you know, I had a, a piece of metal fall on there. Um, I've had some knuckle injuries uh, just from boxing, you know, and then um, my knuckles, they, I went to the doctor and they said that I was getting arthritis and it was uh, perhaps this is the hand I use the most at work, you know, and, and as an engineer, you, you're pulling handles and you're heating cold in the water. So that, that's just, uh, was, you know, several injuries that I've had in the past. So. Altogether, it was basically this is where my hand had come to be now, and, and I had just gotten used to that. That was it. You know? <laughs> uh, last question is how quickly were you able to feel a difference in the pain threshold and the and the mobility in your hands when you started doing it? You know, when you started showing me the uh, capillary effect, what mm -hmm. was going on in the hand, um, and then we had the first I think it was the first deflation mm -hmm. of the bag. Uh, and then all of a sudden I felt this really strange sensation that mm -hmm. I could all of a sudden kind of straighten out my fingers and then I kind of said, oh, that was weird. And then I, you know, it, it went through a second cycle and then it, it deflated again and all of a sudden it was like, uh, you know. Just, so that's less than two minutes in you're able to tell a difference. Right, it was just, uh, uh, it was natural for me to straighten out my fingers with no pain, nothing whatsoever. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty amazed at how this, this works and I was, uh, you know, it's just like anything else, you know, you're a skeptic a little bit, you mm -hmm. know, but I'm, I'm, I'm convinced. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, if, I, if, I, if I were to approach somebody that has ar ar injuries in their hand and nagging injuries and it hurts and, and arthritis and, and mobility issues, um, how confident are you that they're going to see something right away in this katsu? Oh, I'd say uh, immediately. I would say I'm pretty confident that they're going to see some uh, positive effects. Sorry, last question. Uh, were you were you surprised when it when you were able to start filling stuff in, in your hand? Uh, I was really surprised, um, and, and I was actually apprehensive to say anything uh -huh. because uh, I, I didn't want to sound fake. I guess yeah. if it makes yeah. any sense, right? But after a, a few times, I just felt like I needed to tell you that it was immediate. Um, 
uh, response, I guess, or you know, immediate healing. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So, thanks. Thanks a lot, Mario. Yeah, yeah, thank you.